A KB Defender's investigation into taxpayer-funded military equipment that's missing, lost, or damaged. Yeah, the number of property loss investigations at the Texas National Guard has jumped more than 200 percent over the past five years. KB Defender Andy Parati joins us now with what he's uncovered. Andy? Well, well, to be clear, we're not talking about missing bombs or tanks. Still, the equipment we found missing and damaged over the past few years cost taxpayers millions of dollars. They put themselves in harm's way to keep us safe at home and abroad. More than 30,000 Texas National Guardsmen and women deployed over the past few years. A KVU Defenders investigation uncovered an increasing number of military equipment reported missing or damaged at the Guard, costing taxpayers millions. Equipment like $8,900 radio transmitters, night vision goggles that cost $3,000 each, and even this missing $497 handgun. The number of property loss investigations jumped more than 222 percent, totaling $3.5 million since 2008. Yes, the turbulence of sending folks overseas, bringing them back. Um, does cause more financial liability investigations. Colonel Amy Cook is with the Texas National Guard. She attributes the increase in investigations to thousands of Texas soldiers who don't return equipment like $500 body armor vests and $336 binoculars we found unaccounted for when they return home. Colonel Cook also credits an improved tracking system that uses electronic cards to identify missing equipment. Right. Right. U.S. Representative Lloyd Doggett of Austin. Uh, that increase in investigations may suggest some increased policing to see that taxpayer funds are held accountable, but there's still too many of those that are going uh, unresolved. Uh, too much property that may have been uh, lost in action, uh, but some of it may have been stolen. The Department of Defense sets policies on how the Texas National Guard tracks its equipment. Federal auditing agencies say that tracking system needs improvement, and they point to some very costly examples. There are similar problems at the federal level, like this June Inspector General's report about missing night vision devices that showed the Department of Defense contractors did not maintain complete accountability. And this 2009 audit that found $2 billion in U.S. military equipment accidentally shipped off to other countries that could be used to threaten national security. It is a Defense Department-wide problem where the Defense Department cannot pass the kind of audit that we do of other government agencies. Also under scrutiny is how the DOD tracks missing equipment. Is there a better way to track equipment? Is there a better way to track? Again, the system that we use is the system that the Army mandates, and that's the system that I have. An issue that could make it worse, budget cuts. If Congress cannot reach a deficit reduction deal early next year, thousands of soldiers could lose their jobs. What's unknown is whether staff in charge of tracking equipment are included in those cuts. Congressman Doggett wants more accountability from the military. It's been one year after another, one part of the Defense Department after another, that while doing truly vital jobs for our national security, have not done an adequate job of assuring accountability. Armed with maintaining national security, but not necessarily with the best system to track taxpayer-funded equipment. Before our story aired, the Texas National Guard issued a news release today. It points out that the Guard's property list includes items that have been damaged or destroyed during combat or natural disasters. Uh, let me ask you, what if a soldier is found liable for some of this lost equipment? Do they have to pay for it? Well, they can be required to pay part of it, but usually it's only a fraction of that value. Wow. Very interesting story. Yeah. Andy, Thank you, thanks. Andy.